Bankruptcy is a scary thought, but what's scarier is the fact that it has happened to some of the world's most famous companies. Curious to know which companies went from riches to rags? Then this video is the ultimate key to your knowledge. Hey there, welcome back to Businessville. In today's video, we're taking a look at the top five companies that went from billions to bankruptcy in an instant. We're talking about the likes of Enron, Lehman Brothers, and Kodak. And we're going to be exploring how each of these giants of industry managed to fall so far, so fast. So without waiting a moment any further, let's get started. Number five, Kodak. Kodak was a leading company in its segment for the majority of the 20th century. But due to some unwise management decisions and a lack of foresight, the company failed to keep up with the changing market needs and went bankrupt. Kodak's main mistake was its refusal to adapt to the new technology and consumer demands. The company chose to focus on selling traditional film cameras instead of investing in digital cameras. This decision proved to be a costly mistake, as digital cameras took the market by storm and Kodak was unable to keep up with the competition. Furthermore, Kodak invested in several smaller companies which depleted the money it could have used to promote the sales of digital cameras. By the time Kodak started selling digital cameras, it was too late to make a difference. Many major companies had already established themselves in the market and Kodak couldn't compete with them. In September 2011, Kodak's stock prices hit an all-time low of $0.54 per share, and by 2012 the company was forced to declare bankruptcy. Number 4. Satyam Computer Services Satyam Computer Services was the fourth largest technology company in India and was the first to be listed on the NYSE. Founded in 1987 by Ramalinga Raju, the company quickly became a leader in the IT services industry, achieving impressive growth and expansion. By 2002, the company had opened offices in over 50 countries and had grown to become one of the top IT companies in the world. Satyam also had a reputation for being a socially responsible company, investing in healthcare and education in rural India. It even won the Golden Peacock Award for corporate social responsibility. However, in 2009, Satyam's reputation was shattered when the accounting fraud was discovered. The company had inflated revenues by $1.5 billion, leading to an investigation by the Central Bureau of Investigation. During the investigation, Raju admitted to the fraud in a letter to the company's board of directors. However, they were eventually released due to CBI's failed attempt on pressing charges on time. Number 3. Chrysler It's no surprise that the Great Recession hit the auto industry particularly hard. In Chrysler's case, the company had been losing money since the mid-1990s, and by 2008, the company had suffered a loss of $2.9 billion. In a desperate attempt to stay afloat, Chrysler took $12.5 billion in assistance from the U.S. government. The company worked hard to repay that debt and was able to return $11.2 billion to the Treasury by 2014. Unfortunately, Chrysler's struggle was far from over. It wasn't until January 2014 that the company was finally rescued by European car maker Fiat FCAU. The new partnership enabled Chrysler to continue to make cars in the U.S., and the company is still in business today. Number 2. Lehman Brothers Lehman Brothers was once a titan of American finance. Founded in 1850, the global financial services firm, based out of New York City, was one of the largest investment banks in the United States. The company had been successful for over a century and a half, but 2008, marked a turning point for the once great firm. As the global financial crisis hit, it was discovered that Lehman Brothers had hidden over $50 billion in loans. By the use of accounting pitfalls, these loans have been passed off as sales. The business sold short-term toxic assets to Cayman Islands banks. According to an SEC inquiry, Lehman Brothers was anticipated to acquire these assets. The corporation appeared to have $50 billion more in cash and $50 billion fewer in hazardous assets as a result of this. This accounting scandal ultimately led to the company's downfall. On September 15, 2008, Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy, 
making it the largest bankruptcy filing in U.S. history. Number 1. Bernard L. Madoff Investment Securities, LLC Bernie Madoff is one of the most notorious figures in business and investment history. His Ponzi scheme was the largest of its kind, leaving thousands of people around the world with millions of dollars in losses. However, what many people didn't know was that Madoff was actually running a Ponzi scheme. The scheme unraveled in 2008, when the global financial crisis hit. Madoff's investors began to realize that their investments were not performing as expected. When they started to withdraw their money, Madoff was unable to pay them back. This led to an investigation into his fraudulent activities. The investigation revealed that Madoff had used the money from his investors to finance his lavish lifestyle. He had also used the money to pay off debts and to make payments to his family members and close associates. In the end, Madoff defrauded investors out of more than $64.8 billion. Madoff was convicted of 11 counts of fraud and sentenced to 150 years in prison. He was also ordered to pay $170 billion in restitution. It's hard to believe that these companies, once worth billions, could go bankrupt in an instant. But the reality is that even the most successful companies aren't invincible. We hope that you take away something valuable from this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.